Good morning everyone, I'm in a Mini Cooper E with the small battery, 36.6 kilowatt hours and today I'm doing my long distance trip. I'm not driving the normal uh, uh, tour, the 600 kilometers, because it would take way too long. First of all, the range is low, it's winter, extremely low, and uh, it also doesn't charge extremely well. So uh, a better route planner said it would, would be seven and a half hours or so for, for the 600 kilometer trip, and I say no. And this car is also not made for this. This is a city car, but sometimes you have to drive a bit further. So I'm driving a tour where I have to charge at least two times. Uh, it's around 350 kilometers. I navigated already to the first and uh, the charger where we also turn around. And I think it doesn't think that I will arrive, that I can make it. Right now it says zero <laughs> percent. I'm driving 110 um, and I turned down my heat and everything. I hope I can make it. Worst case scenario, I can charge somewhere, but I don't want to because this, because since this car is not charging very fast, um, it's faster to get to drive slower and arrive at a charger and miss one charger. So I hope we can do that. According to my range test, it should work, but we'll see it has to pre-hit the battery and everything uh, i do my best May, uh, i don't know if i will slow down but uh, for so sure i'm not going to speed up so either i charge in between 10 percent or i can make it we'll see um, I, for the planning i use the battery route planner of course and it's perfect you put in the car you can put in your reference uh, consumption at 110 and i did a, a range test so i know that and then you can specify what speed do you want to drive of course the the, the 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 destination and everything i planned everything and then i put in 100 kilometers an hour 110 115 118 120 and the fastest would be 110 so because it only has to charge when we are at the destination, then turn around and then charge in between. And it thinks it's the fastest, so I'm trying that. So we'll see. Um, at home, I preheated the car. When I got to the car, it was at 97%, so I didn't use the charger, even though it was plugged in. That's sad. Yesterday it did that. I don't know what's different, different today. Um, and so when I was at the highway, driving onto the highway where I reset my trip, I was at 90% already. And uh, charging this car uh, to 92 percent is okay. You get around 25 kilowatt, but then at 92 it goes down to 7, 8 kilowatt. And so charging is takes way too long. But it's minus four degree out. We're driving the 110. We'll see how it is. Uh, I have my heat on 21 degrees, very low airflow. I'm okay actually. Maybe a bit of seat heater on one. We'll see how it turns out. Well, how many kilometers do we have? 153 and we have 137 kilometers of range. But yesterday it was going up the hill home. So this range should go up. We'll see if we can make it. If not, I will decide if charging or slower driving. Yeah, I'm an idiot. I just saw I didn't reset my trip. So our trip data is from home. A few kilometers more but uh, important here is so I know the time and I know the state of charge by the way and on the country road I have higher consumption than on the highway because on the highway I drive a constant speed <laughs> So I reduced my speed to 109, in between it was even 107, but now look at this, 75 kilometers to go, 74 kilometers of range, so I'm just one kilometer, ooh, now I'm exactly there. <laughs> so it's going down and I'm 60% uh, of the way, um, when I was at half the length that I have to go, <coughs> I was at 54% of state of charge, so 
let's hope this is gonna happen. That would be nice. But uh, again, I'm still half a kilometer or a kilometer away from the range. It still thinks I'm not gonna make it. But I, th I hope that if it stays that way, we get 10 kilometers that I arrive with or so, or five or six, something like that. That would be amazing. Turned my heat down all the way to 20 degrees, but it's okay today. And, but I have the seat heater on too, that makes it all nice. The cabin is so small that a bit of heat from the sun outside is already uh, heating up a bit. So I'm, I'm actually comfortable, comfortable with this temperature, which is weird. And I can always charge if it's really not happening, if there's a problem, if it goes uphill the last 30 kilometers or so, we'll see. But we, like I said, so far we maybe almost make it. I hope it will be better and better. And I can always slow down a tiny bit. Again, it's faster for me to slow down a bit than it is to go out and charge, because it takes a few minutes to get out, plug in, charge, Come back. I'm back at 110 because seven kilometers more range than we need. It says I will arrive with 3%. Woohoo! No problem. Come on. <laughs> That's exciting. Uh, in 28 kilometers, we're there at the Georgia, which is our turnaround point, and then we go back. So cool, we did it. I arrived with 5%. Um, and where's my driving data? Here. Uh, this is from home, 118.6 uh, kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers, 175 kilometers driven, almost nothing regenerated, so driving constant speed perfectly. Amazing! So I'm charging here to 70, 75% because we have to go, I have to plan my trip. Do you want to charge for free? Of course you do. And how can you do that? With Encharge. Encharge is an app. You install it on your phone. When you are at a charger like this, you rate the charger. You give Encharge the information. Um, uh, uh, can you have food somewhere? Is there a toilet and something like this? And Encharge gives you kilometers and stars. And these you can exchange for charging credit. A new feature in Germany and France. You can use the app itself to start charging at a charger. Amazing. Use the link in the description below to get 20 kilometers to start with. I charged to 68% and I have 107 kilometers of range and I only have to go 84 kilometers now. It thinks I will arrive with 15%. We'll see because maybe it goes uphill and it was a bit downhill to get here. That's why my range got better and better. But I'm going to drive my 110 when the speed limit is over, which is now, and then we'll see. I changed my plan. Um, I originally wanted to uh, drive to an EMBW charger, but um, I noticed that I have so much range and will arrive with a, such a good state of charge that I'm now driving uh, to the Ionity charger, which is way uh, cheaper for me. And in the beginning I had two, three kilometers uh, were missing to get there, but now I have seven kilometers to get there and it says two percent. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm in a in a, a hundred zone anyway, so no, it's over. So I can drive my 110. I drove 110 the whole time, and I think it's gonna be cool. Arrived here with nine percent charging, uh, not too far. I think I have 70 kilometers or so home. My average consumption, let's look at everything, the time, kilometers, and what I regenerated. It's really nothing. Amazing. Consumption is a bit higher than I thought. It's now a bit warmer, minus one, but sunny. Still, I have to look how far we charge. So I looked, I have to charge, uh, I need 62 kilometers to get home, so we'll charge to 
90 kilometers or so just to be sure because then it's mostly uphill for me from the highway but we'll stop at the highway and look at the data because I know the time then and the average speed for the drive just the consumption then is not correct that's the only problem a good thing is that the since start uh, trip is not reset just because you stop that's cool but I should have just reset the trip the individual because it's not like it's my first time I've done this 200,000 times literally <laughs> I don't know what's going on I was all foggy there um, I'm getting 72 kilowatt at 21 percent the voltage is 333 volt on the battery yeah the car <laughs> I charge to 50% and let's talk about how the Mini Cooper is on a long distance trip. Um, suspension way too sporty. On an amazing highway it's fine. On a good highway it's like this. It's already not nice. It, you, you feel every little bump when it's a bit uh, elevation changes then you're really doing like this and if it's a bad highway it's horrible it's just not nice steering is fine I like it it's not too hard not, uh, not too heavy not too light I like it steering wheel is a bit thick but my god it's fine cruise control doesn't do anything except for keep the speed and there's no steering assist that we can talk about the climate is fine uh, it's interesting for me and even 20 21 degrees is already warm when other cars I need 23 degrees and I'm cold the seat heater is warm but not incredibly hot so if it's really cold it's a bit bleh. navigation I like a lot it would be nice if I could see the arrival state of charge right here I, I always have to press and then I see that would be nice uh, but the infotainment system overall uh, the problem is that you cannot see a lot of things at the same time so I don't see my state of charge I have to press somewhere 47 percent my consumption I have to be in this window would be nice if I can see the stuff that's important to me so a few things but that's just not happening that's a bit sad but other than that I'm okay with it uh, power I didn't use today I drove the 110 or less I, I accelerated once to 120 the rest I was always driving my 110 or less <laughs> uh, so it was very relaxed when it comes to this the range is not amazing with the small battery charging also not amazing uh, but it's okay it's a city car and if you have this car and you have to drive a 350 kilometer trip like me today you can do that it's okay uh, but you cannot drive fast if you drive 130 or faster you have to charge so many times and then you're just slower so 110 for the win and it's that's just how it is because it doesn't charge fast and the, the battery is so small but other than that it's okay a loudness level by the way 110 of course it's nice but even 130 I find this car really quiet I'm on my last leg it's 26 kilometers till we get off the highway and this is where we stop the whole trip then we know our average speed for driving this far and I have then a bit more to get home but everything is fine everything good a lot of traffic today on December 26 um, no trucks though holiday but really a lot of people are driving but no traffic jam and like I said just 25 kilometers till we get off so it should be okay and it's so busy that even the chargers the two chargers that I was at the Ionity chargers both had six stalls and both were full the whole time when I was there I was always lucky to get one but while I was charging they were all fully occupied arrived at 12.05 with 21% and my driving data but again 
Average consumption is not correct in the kilometers I'll see at home when I do Google Maps. Let's analyze the data. 182 watt hours per kilometer average consumption. 322 was the kilometers I looked up on Google Maps. Um, and I've seen it in the range test that the kilometers that the car shows are pretty spot on. I drove 3 hours and 43 minutes and that's an average speed altogether of around 86 to 87 kilometers an hour for what the car is, small battery and also DC, DC charging not extremely fast. I think that's okay and we see that here at the charging sessions First one was 5 to 68 percent, second one was 9 to 50 percent and we have an average power of 60 kilowatt for one and 65 kilowatt. That's not amazing but when you think that the peak charging power is 75 kilowatt then 65 is okay. <laughs> Altogether I charged 36 kilowatt hours so one time the battery and it took 35 minutes. I think overall that's okay for what the car is for that small battery and like I said DC charging, DC charging not a master. Again that's also hard to do when you have such, such a small battery. If you want to follow me on Instagram Better Life One and if you want to support the channel you can do that here on YouTube via channel membership and if you want to know what's happening behind the scenes of a third YouTube channel behind the battery. But that's it for me. Thank you much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.